How are you? You guys doing good? Didn't want to go give the hot chocolate tonight or did you already? Kind of cold out tonight. Well, it's good to see you. Listen, before I get started on this next song, I want to introduce you to somebody. This young lady off to my right here, this is Kelly Bacon. And Kelly is leading worship in this thing we call the Clifton, Down, Clifton Vineyard Campus that we're getting started. So they've been kind of meeting together, and Kelly's been doing the worship. So I think it, ought to be, it would be good that uh, you guys meet her. So stop by, say hello to her after service, if you would. Please introduce yourself. Take her out to eat, buy her Christmas present, something. Um, also, I just want to say, we're going to teach a new song, and uh, of course, we do that all the time. But this one here, you, you probably have sung it, but today is the day is the name of the song. Um, and I, and I, as I prayed about this song, I, I felt that, uh, not to, not to over-spiritualize this, but a lot of times when you come to church, you have things on your heart. And I think this is the day for some of you, or maybe even one of you, that has just been deciding something. And, and whatever that is, I think today is the day that God just says, just seek me out and I'm going to show you what it is. So in this song, just lay it before God, sing it out of you, and uh, you can learn it. We'll sing it again next week. But uh, uh, yeah, today is the day. It belongs to the Lord. Amen. Today. today is the day you have made. 
rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the day you have made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I won't worry. I won't worry about tomorrow. Giving you my fears and sorrow. When you leave me, I will follow. Trust me. God.
Amen, amen. I'd like to invite the ushers up right now if I could to receive today's tithing and giving. We're going to keep an uh, attitude of worship here. So, Lord, I just ask that you would just remain here, God, and um, fall in this place, Lord. So we were praying earlier, Lord, you, know, you put it on my heart that as we gathered together and sang hymns and songs and praise to you, Lord, your Holy Spirit showed up. And so that's what I'm asking here tonight, Lord. Um, whichever way that you need to show up as to individuals and, or to us as a church, Lord, I ask that you would grant us that wonderful request of your, of your presence, Lord, because we love you. In Jesus' name, amen.
Amen. God, we give you all praise here tonight, Lord. In Jesus' name. Have a seat, you guys. Amen. Amen. Well, it's cold. It's winter. Frost is on top of the roofs, the windshields, and our heads for some of us. Um, It's good to see you. How about those Broncos, you guys? You guys are doing good, huh? I can't can't really see you, so I got to lift up here. So bear with me, glass people. Um, I... I'm, I'm getting used to some headphones here. So, Jared, can I have a little bit more of the, the uh, uh, room mics, please, just a little bit? Uh, I'm lost right now, so I can't really hear you, so I'm isolated. So smile at me, if you would, please. So, you know, I know that you're actually hearing me. Um, well, welcome to Canyon View. We're glad that you're here. We're glad that you're here at 24 and a half road. And all the people that are braving the cold at the Parade of Lights, I am very proud of them but I am warm, and so this is a good thing. So we thank you, God, for being here. Uh, First-timers and visitors, you got rooms in the back. Those are for uh, those of you with infants and toddlers. We also have a nursery. We have things for kids out the double doors off to my right. Tonight is the we have our, our middle school, high school, and uh, a children's, and at 9 o'clock is the only time we don't. We have those all three services except for Sunday at 9. We don't have our high school yet at 9 o'clock, but... We're working on it. If you are new here, uh, your bulletin has a little uh, pamphlet on it, a little sign-up card. If, if you would like some more information about Canyon View or you would like to get a call from, from somebody or you have a prayer request, or if you fill that out and drop it off at our newcomer's desk over here, uh, they have a free gift for you. Um, please stop by. We'd like to get to know you or if you have any questions about any ministries or programs we have here. You're also welcome to go to canyonviewchurch.com and check out everything that's coming up. Uh, obviously, the big thing for us is this uh, month is Christmas, which is good. And, and uh, Pastor Kirk is uh, taking lists for uh, presents, I think. So uh, I, I, think, uh, I think we'll be okay. Uh, children, you're dismissed on the double doors on the right. And Jared, if you wouldn't mind taking those back out, that would be wonderful. Uh, Check out the overheads. Brr, it's getting cold outside. You know what that means. Special services here at Canyon View Vineyard Church. Remember, Christmas Eve services are on Thursday, December 24th at 4 and 6 p.m. And we will not have any services or classes on the 23rd and 30th. Merry Christmas! It's my Christmas hat. Okay. Hi, my name is Nate Ralston, and I do Kaleo on Wednesday nights here at Canyon View Church. And I'm going to sit down here in just a second, and I'm going to interview Brett and Lisa. They're two people who have been coming on Wednesday nights for about a year now. And they're going to tell us about what living in community and fellowship has done for them and their faith and their walk with Christ. The very first sermon we ever came to um, at Kaleo was a discussion and inadvertently we kind of left with the wrong idea um, because Jesus wasn't necessarily the topic of that sermon that night, it was God. And um, immediately um, for outsiders like we were at that point that I think we're all friendly with God, with the, the topic of God, but Jesus is something much more personal because because of life and, and the, the tangibility of Jesus, the, like the, the look, feel, you know. Um, and I remember at coffee, I'd said to, I'd said to uh, you that I was really glad uh, that our first time there, that um, it wasn't you stuffing Jesus down our throats. Um, it was about God, and we were really comfortable with God, but but it wasn't quite sure what I thought about Jesus. And um, I remember the, the look of failure that kind of landed on your face instantly when, when we talked about that, that you were just like, oh, man, something's gone wrong here. But, um, you know, as, as a warm-up, as a first time at, at Kaleo, that was, that was just what we needed. That was God meeting us where we, where we were. Um, 
because we were unsure about how we felt. And so through small groups and, and through service and, and stuff like that, we've, we've both learned a lot more that it's more than just about God. It really is about Jesus and that, that Jesus does come first. Having friends and relationships here at church has made a huge impact on my life personally. With If I don't go to service, if I don't go to small group, I feel like I have missed out on something. Being together in small groups for me is, is one of the things in life that I never knew that I would love that I absolutely adore. I, it means so much to me to be able to learn from my peers about Jesus that have read more of the Bible that I have, that have, you know, worshiped Jesus longer than I have, that know more than I do. So I get a lot out of small groups. I think Wednesday nights are awesome for me personally because I have an opportunity to serve on Wednesday nights. Um, and that's something, that, a decision that has come to me by desire, not guilt. Um, so many times in the church environment, you're guilted into doing something. And I think that through a lot of the teachings and learnings that I've had personally, I have a desire to serve. And Wednesday night is my opportunity to serve. Um, I get to work on the usher team. And I, I get to come and, and worship God with a huge group of people that are all here to do the same thing. That's awesome. When it all comes down to it, it's, it's all or nothing. It's, it's about Jesus Christ, and that's the bottom line. Good evening, everybody. It is good to be out of the cold. It is smoking cold outside, isn't it? But that uh, testimony you heard from Brett and Lisa is uh, an example of a couple people whose lives have been dramatically impacted through the community of the church. And they have experienced very personally that the gospel really is relevant to their lives, that it's brought uh, healing in their relationship, and it's brought healing in their lives in a way that they are connecting with God through Jesus Christ, and it's brought um, incredible fulfillment and new vision in their life. And so that is an example of how the church is supposed to be. Now, if you are in this room and your life has been affected in a positive way through relationships in the community of the church here, raise your hand. That's great, you're all my friends. But what I want you to do now is, uh, I want you to do something really risky. I want you to get up and meet somebody that you don't know in this room, shake their hand, and introduce yourself to them and learn their name. So go do that right now and bless them in the name of Jesus. <laughs> 